Are you a nurse, doctor, body worker, coach or a teacher? Do you find that you often get overwhelmed when you're around people who are stressed, even if they're the clients that you need to help? If you're in the helping profession, then connection is your superpower. Your ability to connect and attune to the inner world of the people that you're helping can create a powerful neurobiological shift in their nervous system. And this is what we call co-regulation. The challenging part to this is that when you're delivering care to those that you support, you also need to know how to take care of your own nervous system alongside theirs. Now, stress and emotion contagion are well researched. And this is something we can think of a little bit like Wi-Fi. So between two people, there is a connection. Although you can't see it, you're connected and it is having an impact on your inner world and your nervous system. And there's many parts to why this happens. So we can see this through the social engagement system of the vagus nerve and also through things like our mirror neuron circuitry as well. Somebody outside of you can have an impact on your inner world. And we're really going to see this happen, particularly if you're helping people who've experienced traumatic events or experiencing high levels of emotional or physical pain. And although we often hear the word compassion fatigue, we can make sense of this and better support ourselves when we look at the differences between empathy or empathetic distress and compassion. Now, in the case of empathy or empathetic distress, what happens is we lose the connection to our sense of self. And so as we are listening or watching or attuning to somebody who is experiencing high levels of pain, the pain networks in our own brain light up and also the area that's our threat detection system, a little bit like our built-in smoke alarm. And when this lights up, the amygdala, it can move our nervous system into anxiety or into a state of feeling flat and depressed. So with this empathetic distress, what's essentially happening is those that we're supporting, we are moving into that pain state with them and we're losing our sense of self or the differentiation of theirs and ours. And this can be really exhausting and challenging where we find that we're dysregulated after a client session or an appointment and we might get to the end of the day where our cup feels completely empty and we're drained. There's a different experience that happens though with compassion. So with compassion, we get areas activated in the brain body system that actually correlate to love, particularly maternal love. So in this case, we attune to somebody, we still care, but what's happening in our brain body system isn't pushing us outside of regulation. We're able to act as a stable place for that person so that co-regulation can naturally take place. The key difference is that we still have a sense of ourselves and we still have a separation between us and the people that we're helping. And this is truly important if we want to be able to support other people, make an impact on our own clients' lives or our community, but also to support our nervous systems alongside them. If this is something you'd like to learn more about, then I'd love to have you join me in my upcoming practitioner training, the Nervous System Certification course.